the world is experiencing coronavirus pandemic the worst pandemic in last 100 years it started in wuhan china from there it has spread to italy and throughout 200 countries in the whole world in this situation we need to understand how to fight back against this virus remember in this case our enemy is invisible so let's see and let's try to know how we can fight back how hand washing can help so let's say this individual is infected with coronavirus now when he coughs or sneezes he is putting his droplets filled up with coronavirus in the air studies have shown that coronavirus can persist in air for at least 3 to 4 hours and on surfaces it can stay for even days now let's say another individual touches the same surface on which that previous individual has sneezed or coughed now the droplets comes to his hand and next time when he touches his hand to anywhere he is infecting the other people as well for example handshaking or while returning home he is going to the supermarket he is touching the supermarket cart and putting the virus there as well while taking out money let's say he is uh, transmitting the virus or putting the virus in that surface and the virus can stay on that surface for long now while another individual touch that same cart not knowing that there is virus the virus goes to his arms as well and next time he touches his face with the hand the game is over we can understand the degree of transmission of this virus and how dangerous it is none of these things we actively perceive while doing our everyday work right but it's the time to perceive these kind of things that what are the possible ways that you can get exposed to the virus from uh, exchanging money exchanging plastic goods or taking grocery uh, packets these things can really transmit the virus right at this situation what is doable or what is recommended by who is washing hands let's say the man is not washed the man has not washed his hand and uh, taking a elevator in the elevator door in the door handle of his home he is spreading the virus and keeping it on the surface and before the virus can die out it takes several days for the virus to die out right so the virus would be transmitted to another individual who whosoever touched the door handle or touched the elevator door so that is why it's time to fight back in this situation the first thing we should do after coming back to home from outside is to take a soap either liquid soap or soap bar and then repeatedly wash the hands and the six steps of hand washing is shown by who so wash our hands thoroughly for at least 30 to 40 seconds now let's talk about what is the mechanism of the killing of the virus so it is very similar the way we remove oil stain from our clothes so in order to remove oil stain we put liquid detergent in the washing machine and what happens is the oil stains are removed by the surfactants so the detergent molecules are also polar in nature so detergent molecules literally pull out the dirt from the surface and put a micelle around it similar things happens in case of coronavirus so coronavirus is an enveloped rna virus enveloped simply means it has a lipid coat the lipid coat is very much similar to the oil droplets that stains our clothes as well now in order to remove the lipid droplet you can use soap or detergent now soap molecules are very similar to the lipid molecules because soap molecules also have hydrophobic he, he, uh, hydrophobic tail and a hydrophilic head group hydrophilic means it is water loving and hydrophobic means it is water hating now this is the virus and when you wash your hands with soap water what happens is the hydrophobic tails are interacting with the hydrophobic tails of the phospholipid 
present in the viral envelope. And they are pretty happy with each other because they are interacting with hydrophobic interaction. Now, some of these uh, drop, some of these soap micelles take out phospholipids from the virus membrane and damage the virus envelope. Now, you can understand while using soap and water for a long time, the viral envelope can be severely damaged. A damaged virus is not so efficient in terms of infecting. So its virulence factor would be reduced. But this phenomena is only possible when you wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 to 30 seconds. Below that, the cleansing mechanism won't be efficient. The exchanging of these phospholipids and moving that into the soap micelles won't be efficient enough. So it's necessary that you wash your hand for at least 20 to 30 seconds. Beyond that is even better. But that's the minimum threshold. Now, it is also true that these viruses are RNA viruses. So if we dip our clothes or the things that we think that are that could be exposed to virus, like our clothes while coming out from while coming back from uh, outside, we need to dip it in boiling water. At least the temperature should be 60 degrees and above. Best is boiling water, which would be 100 degrees. Because at that temperature, the proteins or the spikes that are present on the outer surface of the virus would be denatured. So as the genetic material, which is RNA, it won't be stable at that high temperature. Unfortunately, we cannot dip our hand in that boiling water because it would cause burn. That's why repeatedly hand washing with soap would be very efficient in this situation. Do you want to know how hand sanitizers work? Then stay tuned to my channel and subscribe my channel because I would be posting a lot of updates about coronavirus and telling you the signs and facts about it and bust all the myths. But also keep an eye on the news channels and at this situation we cannot prevent it but we can know our enemy such that we can avoid our enemy. In this situation, stay safe. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Please share this video to grow awareness and educate people. Education is the thing that we need. Education and awareness can really help us to cope up with this situation and try to stay, I mean, try to uh, bring safety to our family and our, uh, our friends. Thank you.